Hello everybody, my name is Main Breakers, you guys all know, and today, this is going on every channel. All of them, the old videos, live streaming channel, and the main channel once the strike is up. I am using this time of the strike, a week, to actually go through and review my content to make sure it follows what I want. Be and especially what YouTube wants. <laughs> so... There are going to be a lot of changes. On the main channel, the videos are going to be unavailable. Right now, as we speak, most videos are privated. I'm going to go through and review more. And maybe more will get privated. Hell, maybe the every single video on the channel will be privated. But until then, I have to go through and just see if this is how I want my channel to be. So, I'm going to go through, review everything. And just make sure it's up to the new policies that I want in place. Make sure it's up to YouTube policies for, for the baseline. But there's also policies that I want to put in place. I want my content to be inclusive for everybody, just like how YouTube wants it. But I want to make sure it follows a set standard rules that I have. Some things that YouTube lets slide that I won't. I want my kids to look at my channel in the future and be like, hey, this is pretty cool. For swearing and all that. That's unavoidable. I mean, I'm not gonna start bleeping it all again because I don't. Those, I mean, those videos are funny. The the forest and all that, where it's just a bunch of beef charged to the other. It's it's funny, but that's when I was trying to make my channel more inclusive for children before all the COPPA stuff kicked in. I don't have to worry about that no more. If you're a child and you're watching my channel, if you're under the age of that YouTube allows, that's on you. That's not on me. You're breaking the rules, not me. So none of my videos. None of them are made for kids. None of them. Not a single one. But that doesn't mean that kids don't want... I mean, I, I know for a fact that kids use normal YouTube. And there's really no way to stop that unless you put in some stupidly hard multiplication quiz in the beginning of it. But then again, I barely know multiplication. So you can't stop people because Americans are dumb. So they might work in other countries, but Americans are stupid. And I can say that because I am American. <laughs> Where's my McDonald's at? But there's a bunch of changes that I'm putting into place on the channel. And you'll notice that as most of the videos will be unavailable. And then I'm going to run them through. If there's something I don't like in the video, it's going to be ran through. It's going to be a harsh, ugly cut through the YouTube editor. Who knows? The video might get scrapped altogether. I don't know. Uh, but rec recently, as in at 1230... In the morning of today, it's 2.45. I had gotten a community guideline strike for the video Dumb and Dumber Play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I have put in a, uh, I have put in an appeal, and normally they get Instantly rejected. I'm talking the second I put it through, instantly rejected. I believe YouTube can work on that a little better. I sh I'm, I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of videos that get hit every day. But my issue with this is, from a creator standpoint, when you put your appeal through and it doesn't even get looked at, you just instantly rejected. That is an issue. I'm okay with waiting a week, two weeks, for the appeal to be looked at. But don't just instantly reject it and also for whatever your video was tagged for there needs to be a timestamp of where that so-called incident happened for example i've had videos hit for child safety where i could not for the life of me i sit down and watched it five times over where was the activity of an un of a child being unsafe if you could give me the express time point that they determined was unsafe for children then great I can look at that and be like oh so this is considered unsafe not when there's a video of I'm not kidding this this wasn't a strike or anything this was my warning one of my videos were taken down for child safety you know I went through it I'm like okay so this is what they considered you no know, or they went through their policy and all the terms read through it all okay great I go through and watch the video and I, I could not find a single thing that was 
in that policy. So a timestamp would be nice in the future. That would be really cool if they could do that. Now, luckily, this strike is only... They're, they apparently worked with me here or something. I didn't read. I didn't really read it. I was more angry than anything. <laughs> it makes me angry to get these strikes. I have one out of three of my community guideline strikes. But if I get a second one within 90 days, so no, I think that's November 27th is 90 days from now. That's third strike. You're done. So they're not counting this one as a strike. But if I get a second one, that's a third strike. I appealed the decision. And I hope that, you know, maybe they'll work with me on this one and let me have my channel back earlier. And if that's the case, you'll see this video earlier. But if it's uploaded on, I believe, the 6th, I didn't. But who knows? But I want to work to make my channel something. I'm at the point where I'm, I'm not growing. But it would be very, very hard to grow a channel to this point again. Where I have a few people who quit tune in the streams and everything. It's nothing big. I do it to have a hobby. I don't do it to be big if that one day happens that'd be great but you know hopefully we can work something out with you know and figure this out because things would be good so if this happens again you'll be so yeah this was what i read last time i'm looking at the things at the guideline as we speak it says if this happens again you'll get a second community guideline strike and you won't be able to do anything like upload post live stream for two weeks it said that last time, so I'm I'm not sure what happened there. Because that's what it said when I got my last one. I was able to be able to upload for two weeks, so it should be the whatever's after the six. I don't feel like counting this is counting sevens again. Uh, the thirteenth. So yeah. I guess they worked with me or something. But I'm also looking in here. It says right here, important notifications. Your dumb and dumber play Ghost Recon Breakpoint was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. And your channel got a first strike. I thought I already had my first strike, but I guess not. But I am looking under here. There's also the share links with your audience. Uh, the news tab. Community guideline warnings update. Creators will be able to have the option to take a policy training for the new and existing warnings. The complete training will remove the warning in 90 days to help creators navigate our policy. I'm actually really curious mm -hmm. about this. This actually is really cool. I want to go through and look at this. I'm not subscribing to YouTube creators. That's not happening. But I will actually take a look at that. Because that is, that'd be great if you could take training courses to figure out what you're doing wrong. Because these policies are bulk. They're dense. They're basically legal documents. They're not understandable to most people. I mean, they're thick. I watch the little videos on their things. I look at it all. It's like, there's a lot going on. <laughs> but yes, this is me signing out for a week on the main channel. And nothing's going to go on the other channels either because I can't live stream. Nothing else is going up. And the for the old channel, you know, the old video channel, this is the only video that's going to be new. So, yes, I will be signing out for a week, guys. And maybe longer. Maybe I'll take my extension longer. We'll see. But I'm going to use the time that I have to go through and review pretty much every video on my channel. And then eventually get to the old videos and then never to the live streams because that's way too much going on. So guys, I will catch you all next time. Peace out.